oftentimes the Alaska Native or Indigenous voice is overlooked in many different ways. For a long time, we had a lot of decisions made for us about our culture, right? We need to be educated because we need to have a seat at the table. One of the main reasons ANSEP was founded was because it was believed that Alaska Natives were not smart enough to hold degrees or positions in the STEM field. So engineering math is really important because we have a huge oil and gas industry, but as well as just a lack of people who are educated. ANSEP is the Alaska Native Science and Engineering Program, and we're a program within the university that helps to support students from kindergarten through PhD. ANSEP is a support system for engineering students who are specifically Alaska Natives within the college system. And so the goal is like, well, we have people that live here, like let's educate them and get them these amazing jobs that are gonna support the economy. We were founded in 1995 by Dr. Herb Schroeder. And he was working as an engineer here in Anchorage for the university, and they were doing some rural sanitation research. And I worked on the project for two years, and I never met a native engineer the whole time that I was working on the project. And I was a professor here at the school in the engineering department, and I said, well, heck, you know, I'm an engineering professor. I'll just make some native engineers. And so he realized if there were more Alaska Native engineers working, there wouldn't be people from outside making big decisions. It would be actually our Alaska Native students making those decisions for their communities. As an engineering professor, he decided that what he wanted to do and wanted to, to start supporting Alaska Native students to earn engineering degrees. We have a handful of locations across the state, Matsu, Bethel, Kotzebue, and we have a location based here in Anchorage open for statewide. We support our high school age students with our Acceleration Academies, which is a dual enrollment opportunity for students to take college classes throughout their high school years. Our native population in Alaska is majority rural, so that means that anyone off the road system. And we have students from the smallest villages in rural Alaska who just want to have the education that they didn't have the opportunity to get when they were younger. In terms of accessing the different communities across Alaska, you're going to have to fly everywhere or you're going by boat. I'm from a little village in Bristol Bay called Portage Creek. You can't access Portage Creek by road. You can only access it by the river, small boat in the summer. Sometimes you can fly a small plane in there. ANSEP, through our partners, we fund the opportunity so that they don't have to pay for any of the flights or the logistics to get to town. It's a huge step for them to come from a small community of 200 people to come to Anchorage to earn a college degree. The goal is to get them this education so they can go back and give that back to their communities. The five-week math course is not just a math course, and we have hands-on STEM activities throughout the week. How about this? Do you see, are these lines perfectly straight all the way through? So part of going out to Portage Glacier is we want to expose them to snow science or even park service, and then learn some about the geology field and how that plays into a, you know, a natural sciences degree or your geology degree. It's awesome to bring students to the Alaska Native Heritage Center because they're able to see how other cultures across Alaska live. You know, this one is a yippee drum because of the long handle. A lot of what ANSEP does, they bring in a lot of that culture to the program. Myself included, and a lot of the students feel that cultural sense of belonging that they might be missing in any other program that's out there. The program I work with, Acceleration Academy, focuses on high school age students and where students were earning three credits in a math course at the university. Acceleration Academy in first year was in 2009. Initially, one of the first high school programs was the summer programs. They invited high school students to come to UAA campus and start taking college classes. But we also now operate the year long. So Full-Time Acceleration Academy 
So those students come in and they live full time at the dorms. So this is the dorm, this is where all the students stay for ANSWP acceleration. All of our students take a minimum of three college courses, which is about nine credits. Last summer, I also did this program, and I did it for 10 weeks instead of five. We saw students coming back summer after summer, finishing what all the credits they needed for their you know, math minors in a bachelor's program. Now we're seeing students graduating high school with two to three years of college credits completed, you know, saving tens of thousands of dollars in college attendance costs. We started our full-time high school program in 2016. I am taking Calculus 3 for the summer course, and by the end of this session, I will have 68 college credits. It's pretty bold having you know, high school students taking these college classes, and ANSA provides that opportunity for students to develop confidence that they can be college students. Our goal for them is to be socially and academically ready to leave high school and go into jobs and internships and college life. We provide a community to connect with other ANSEP students, provide access to academic support, through peer-to-peer -peer study sessions. For the equation of that line, the slope of the line is gonna be the derivative of the curve at that point, right? If you're coming from, you know, high school to college, like that's the biggest key reason why students drop out is because they don't have a support system and that's what we provide here. Just seeing students reaching levels in college life that are even better than some of our college students is really awesome. Being able to provide that opportunity for them and their families is just really rewarding. We are trying to inspire students to go into STEM-focused degrees and opportunities within Alaska that are high-paying jobs in STEM fields. When a student's graduated to high school, we have a summer bridge program where students get placed into internships and professional development opportunities. And they do a 10-week paid internship program. Students get their first taste of working in the field of science and engineering. After high school, I did multiple internships, but the one that stuck was the Forest Service. I started as an engineering intern, moved to full-time civil engineer, and now I'm a partnership coordinator for the Chugach National Forest here in Anchorage. And they also get scholarships if they attend a University of Alaska school after that. Ultimately, our goal is to fill those working roles with Alaska Natives who are leaders in the fields. One of the challenges that the university system faces is that a, a number of students come to the university underprepared. Most students in the university system, they go from 105 to 151 the next course and 152. So it's like a whole year where they didn't progress. We realized that students needed help before college. There's a number of high school students coming to the university and according to the transcript, you know, they took all these math classes, but when they taken their placement tests, they had to start off with high school classes. And they ended up spending a lot of money for that. So the question, it's y minus six over y minus seven. What we were trying to do is prevent remediation. Our idea was let's get these students accelerated prior to the university. With math, you can get it if you're willing to put the hard work into it, regardless of your ethnicity. So this is actually a 400 place. I don't know if everyone saw that. That's what I see. Because of ANSEP, I've been able to complete all of my calculus series, which I wouldn't have been able to do without them. I think ultimately, ANSEP is trying to achieve a better education for all Alaskans, but also systemic change so that we have Alaska Native leaders in areas of STEM where we haven't had them before. I feel like I know what I want to do now since I am a part of this. I think the thing that I've heard from a lot of mentors throughout the years is that education is one of the things that people can't take away from you. And ANSEP has definitely been a huge supporter and proponent in mine and everyone's education. Now that you know we have Indigenous people doing things for Indigenous people, we have voices and we're having a big impact.